Down. So a quick project today, uh, an old uh, Hino tipper. These run a rather unusual PDO pump and valve assembly in one. So there's a drive shaft on the PDO on the gearbox which then runs along under the truck. There's a support bearing here to a pump here but it's actually a pump and valve combination which then goes up to a strange rather unusual tipper linkage system uh, with a reservoir here built into the base of the cylinder quite elaborate and a bit of a pain to maintain and repair and quite expensive so we've done away with the PDO, the shafts, the pump and the valve and we've gone to a um, 24 volt power pack with its built-in pump and reservoir so there's a 24 volt power pack you should never weld to a chassis rail, it's not something we would ever recommend. I'm not quite sure who's done that, but the damage has been done. Chassis rails are high tensile steel and they should be riveted and bolted uh, using three drilled factory holes. Welding to a chassis rail we never recommend. Uh, so the beauty about this system, it's a single hose goes up to the cylinder, solenoid valve here is the drop, so free flows through the pump with a check valve, and when you want to actually drop, you energize this coil, sorry for dropping, oil comes back through the same hose, back into the tank. So this is a quite a cost-effective retrofit to get everything up and running using a modern power pack, all electric, uh, and you get rid of this very elaborate mechanical setup there. Um, gets rid of all these pipes, it's just a single hose. Uh, we're still going to use this reservoir because it does displace oil from the cylinder but back into here to keep the dry side of the cylinder lubricated so we'll just put a breather on there so oil on the rod side of the cylinder can be displaced and keep everything well lubricated so, um, electrical systems relatively straightforward the main supply to the 24 volt system 200 amp fuse Yes, these electric, little electric motors. It's actually a 2.2 kilowatt motor or a 2.5 kilowatt electric motor. So they draw quite a sizable amount of amps, almost like a starter motor. So this is the installation. The positive cable goes all the way to the battery. And the negative cable. Is that a good earth? on the chassis you need a good earth otherwise you're not going to transfer all those amps that that motor actually needs and then in the cab so a rather dated model uh, but next to the PDO switch which is now obsolete you've got an up button and a down button which we will label so that he knows what's up and what's down You know, FD, 